1, and we're going to look at verse 50 and 51. From the King James Version, Genesis chapter 41, verse 50 and 51, it reads as follows. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, with As Asenath and the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for God said, He hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim. For God hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Amen. This ends the reading. You may be seated. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh in verse 51. For God said, he hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. The name of the second called he Ephraim. For God hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. On this Youth Sunday, the Lord and I would like to use as a topic, try again, try again. Oprah Winfrey, one of the greatest talk show hosts of all times, at one time was fired from a news anchor position because they felt she was too emotional. Curry Washington was replaced in two other shows by someone else before she landed the leading role in what we know as scandal. Bill Gates, he dropped out of Harvard and started a business and it failed. He tried again and Microsoft was born. Abraham Lincoln, he entered war as a captain but returned home as a private. He started several businesses that all failed. He even ran several times for office and lost every one before he became the president of the United States. Michael Jordan, he was cut from his high school basketball team, yet became what we know now as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He said, he said, I've missed over 9,000 shots in my career. I lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, he was entrusted to take the winning shot and he missed. He says, I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I am successful. Why am I telling you about these individuals? Because I need you to realize, young and old, that failure is not fatal. It's not the end of the world when you fail or make mistakes in life or make the wrong decision or wrong choices. It is how you respond after you have failed after you have made bad choices and bad decisions. The Bible says that a just man falleth seven times, but still he rise. A righteous man, a person that follows God, will fall sometime. I should have got an amen right there. But he gets back up again and tries again. And that's what we witness in the story of Joseph here. He fa fails, he falls, and he rises. He falls again, and he rises, and again, and he rises until he collides head on with the destiny that God has for him. The first thing we have to understand as we look at the text here and as we look at the life of Joseph it is that everyone cannot handle your dreams. 
Don't tell. You can't tell everyone what God has showed you. You can't tell everyone where God has told you that he's taken you because if the truth be told, there are those that are jealous of you on the level you are now. There are some folk that, that are just jealous for no reason at all. You, you're wondering why folk don't like you. It's because God has blessed you. You have to understand that you can't tell everyone where God has told you that he's taking you. My brothers and sisters, this is what Joseph does. He tells his brothers that he has had a dream and that one day they would bow down to him. Even more than that, he has another dream and he says that even when it is interpreted that father and mother along with his brothers would bow down down before him. You have to understand that you can't tell everyone your business because everyone does not have your best interest in you. There are those in life that are waiting for you to fall, but you got to understand that even if you fall, don't stay where you are. You have to get back up and try again have to understand my brothers and sisters that Joseph he tells his brothers his dream and one day as his father Israel sends Joseph out uh, to check on his brothers they see him coming and they plan and plot because they don't like Joseph they don't like Joseph is because Israel favored Joseph more than the other siblings can I tell you something mom dad grandma and grandpa you got to understand and learn how to treat every one of those children the same. You got to love the one, yeah, with an attitude. You got to love the one with a nasty disposition. You got to love all of them the same because your love may change their life and turn them around for the good. They say, here comes Joseph, daddy's favorite child. Let's take him and kill him and take his coat and put uh, our animal's blood on it and tell daddy that he's dead. Reuben, Reuben next to Joseph, he said, no, don't, don't do that. Let's just drop him down in the pit. Let's leave him there. And so first, Joseph is dealing with some family hurt. Lord, have mercy. It's no, no hurt like family hurt. It's, it's no hurt like, like family turning their back on you. It's no hurt like family leaving you in a deserted place when they know good and well they can help you out of where you are. But that's all right, baby. God still has a ram in the bush. If you don't come through for me, God will send someone else my way he says and so he finds himself in the pit Joseph Joseph no doubt he says look I, I, I've got this dream one day I'm going to be in charge one day there are those that are going to look up to me and now I find myself in a pit I was excited because God showed me where he's taking me. But now I find myself in a pit. Lord, maybe you've gotten it wrong. You've gotten it twisted, Lord. There, there's something that you're not telling me. But young as well as old, you have to understand that God does not have to give you all of the details. But what it is for you to do is trust God wherever you find yourself to be and hold on to the dream that God has given you. And so, and so as he's in the pit, they see the Ishmaelites coming and they take him out of the pit and they sell him into slavery. He finds himself now at Potiphar's house. Once again, I'm back on my feet. Maybe things are looking up for me. But now Potiphar's wife comes after Joseph and uh, he rejects her. Uh, young as well as old. You don't have to sleep with everybody. You don't have to give yourself up just because somebody else wants you. 
You can, you can keep yourself until you get married. God will give you the strength if you want God to. Amen, somebody. And so he finds himself there. She comes after him. He rejects her. He runs out of the house. She keeps a part of his garment. She tells her husband, Joseph tried to come on to me, tried to get with me. And now Joseph finds himself again in the prison. Wait a minute, Lord. I, I, I started out with a vision and a dream that you have given me. I'm excited about it. And then I find myself in the pit. I get up out of the pit and I'm feeling better because I'm not left there to die. But now I'm sold into slavery. That's all right because now uh, Potiphar, he has put me in charge of his whole household. Have to understand that the thing about Joseph was that wherever he went, the Bible says that God was with him. How many understand in order for God to be with you? You got to be with God. That's why the Bible tells us if ye abide in him and he in you, the same shall bring forth much fruit. If you want God to roll with you, you got to roll with God no matter what bumps and bruises come your way in your life. And so he finds himself in prison. And you have to understand, young people, it didn't happen all at once. You got to realize that Joseph is 17 years old at the beginning. He's 17 years old, dropped in a pit, rejected by his family, put in the palace, but now he finds himself in the prison. What are you saying? I'm saying he's went through a whole lot at a young age. But God had something in store for him. And there are some young folk that have been through a whole lot at their young age. They have been through abuse. They have been through rejection. They have lost loved ones at a young age. God says, I got something in store for your life. All you got to do is keep your hand in my hand. 